Hi guys, I have a Valentine's card for you today. I'm going to use some stamps from Simon's Stamp, among them from the stamp set that came with the February card kit. Also I'm going to use the stamp set that came with the January card kit, I think it was. Um, I'm going to use some coloured embossing powder, some distress ink and some Bursa marks. So we're going to do heat embossing. We're going to do that on some watercolour cardstock. This is the uh, Distress watercolour cardstock from Tim Holtz. Um, it came, comes uh, pre-cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut this down because I want to use all of it but I still want it to be matted onto my card base. So I'm going to cut it down so that it is five and a quarter by four and by four, totally. So, and that is the kind of panel we're going to work with today. We're going to take our stamps, we're going to have the Thinking of You and Happy Valentine's Day. And we're going to kind of add them together, so I'm going to try to get these um, sort of lined up here on the grid mat. And then I am going to take my stamp block and just push down. First we are going to use our embossing powder tool and we're going to make sure that the whole paper is completely covered with this dust because that will help the embossing powder to not stick to the paper but only to the Versa mark. Then we're going to ink our stamps up with the Versa mark ink. And then we're stabbing this in the middle of the card. I'm making sure that it's pressed down everywhere. I am then going to add the grapefruit sing embossing powder to it in the middle here. And I'm gonna heat emboss that. Now I'm going to mask this off carefully. I am going to add the tape just above the thinking of you and that and we are going to do a heat embossed background. I'm going to use this XOXO stamp and we are going to stamp it on the diagonal. So I'm actually going to use the outside of my powder um, paper here. And I'm going to start by just stamping it down like that. This is going to be really hard because I can't really see it at all. But hey. Now I'm going to pour some powder on this. We are actually going to use a um, rose colored powder this time. It's not perfect, but it's kind of a cool background. I'm gonna remove the tape and then heat emboss this. And now we're gonna do some more playing. We are adding some of this Distress Ink, which is the Spun Sugar Distress Ink to our card. First, we are actually doing putting water all over it. And it 
my water is slightly pink, so it actually adds a little bit of a pink tint onto that card. But first, all the water, water into the ink I just put on the mat. And we're picking up the water and we're gonna add the color to the thinking of you. It's a little bit too light, we're gonna add another color. We are going to add a little bit of warm lipstick, but just a teeny bit, so I'm just pu pushing some out of that into my sponge sugar. And then we're just adding that onto this card, all over the card. And then you're just putting that to the side. We're adding some really red over here. I think we're just adding more red. I like the red. I'm gonna take some more and do some more red. I like the effect the red had on top of the pink X's and O's. Yeah, and then I'm gonna just add some there. And that is our panel. I'm just gonna let this dry and I'll be right back. Now it's all dried, so we are gonna attach this onto the card base, which is Nina Solar White 110 weight. So we are gonna add whole loads of this because this sticks things down and it will help because the card is a little bit warped due to all the water. So I'm going to add one strip on each end and one strip in the middle so that it doesn't buckle too much. And then we just attached it to our card base. And that is the card for today. If you like it, please thumbs it up. It means a lot to me. If you have any questions or comments, just comment down below. All the details of the card you can find in the description down below. You can also find a link to my blog where you find photos of the card. See you later.